Hello everyone, welcome to Ride Brooklyn Rover in Huddersfield. Today we've got a Volkswagen Tiguan, we've got Blue Motion technology, R Line TDI 4 Motion, 2 litre diesel estate in black, 2 previous owners, full franchise service history, and it will require its first MOT on the 14th of the 5th, 2017, as it's 3 years after its purchase date. So, if we get a closer look at the car, You've got usual stone chips knocking about at the front there. I try to get a close up of it. Quite a few stone chips knocking about. They do seem quite minor though. They are all pit patted across the front there. Scanning across the bonnet, no indentations or anything. But you have got quite a few scratches located. They're all surface scratches, but they are just quite a few scratches that's knocking about. I hope you can see them. Nothing to report on the windscreen. The roof is all, the roof is all good. Coming down this front quarter here, you again you've got some surface scratches knocking about and I hope you can see them. But they are all surface scratches, just knocking about on the front arch there. This alloy here, it's slightly scuffed around the edges there. Hope you can see it. So it will require a refurb. Tread, you're talking about three and a half mil of tread on, in the centre there. Looking on the near side of the car, as you can see it's all nice and straight. Mirror housing could do with a good clean and you've got some a bit of scuff in there. So it could do with a good mop and polish. Panning across the um, down the side of the car, you will require a couple of touch-ups. You've got a chip out of the paintwork there. And again, you've just got a couple of surface scratches just knocking about here and there. Apart from that, it's all good. Again, just a couple of touch-ups will be required there. Windows are in perfect order, as you can see. If we scan down this alloy, Again, it's just slightly scurbed, curbed, I'm sorry, along the edges there. And tread, you're talking about oh, just over five mil of tread on that one. Panning across to the rear, again, there's not much to report. You just got your few surface scratches, just knocking about here and there. So it will require a good mop and polish, bring it out nice. Apart from that, it's all good. Um, there was a scratch somewhere, a slight scratch, here it is. Just a slight scratch there, it's a surface scratch, I can, I can feel a slight groove but I can't get my fingernail in there. Now coming down the offside of the car, as you can see it's fairly straight, the windows are all good. Panning across this front arch, nothing to report. Again, like I say, you've just got some surface scratches just knocking about on that panel there. This alloy here, again just slightly curved on the edge there. And again you're talking about 5.5mm of tread on that one. Panning across to the driver side of the door, as you can see, not much to report. Will require some touching ups on the edge there, and a couple of touching ups here and there. As you can see, mirror housing's fine, just needs a good clean. Panning across the front arch there, again, not much to report damage wise. This alloy is curved along the edges there and here, so a slight refurb there. Also, three and a half mil of tread on that one. Moving on to the boot area, get a close up of in here, more or less brand new in here guys. Spare tyre and your wheel nut. Now let's check out the interior, there's a close up of your door panel there. Looking on the inside, if you look at the car pizza you can see, pretty clean, highly maintained car. Checking out the seats, a good scan of that. Just some slight slag, sagging in the middle, but apart from that it's in excellent order. Move along to the front of the car, it's close up of your door panel there. Again, it's just got some slight wear into the balsas, but as you can see, the seats are in excellent condition. I mean, looking at the trim, head trim, it's all in good order, pretty clean. Looking at down on the carpets there, as you can see, it's all in good order. If we scan across the dash, again, no issues there. Now, the, we've got all your service book all stamped up with your two franchise services. There's your V5. No MOT because you don't need one till next year. Got two sets of keys. Now if we fire her up. And as you can hear, all your radios working and all your blowers are working, coming out cold. So you have it no warning lights on the dash there and the mileage is at 14,159. Close up with your central console unit. You've got radio, Bluetooth, etc. There's your six speed manual gearbox. If you're looking here, it's got all your entertainment, etc. Looking along the windscreen, you can see pretty 